Hello YouTube, Big Daddy Technology here with my assistant Draven Technology. Hello. And we're filming a late night video on uh, RAM replacement. So, tonight I'm going to teach you how to replace the RAM in an Acer E15 computer. Uh, in this laptop, it's upgradable to 32 gigabytes. It comes standard with 8 gigabytes. Um, you can actually find out how much RAM you can put into your computers by visiting the Crucial website, www.crucial.com. And on that website, it'll have your model, the make, what you're able to upgrade to. So the nice thing about the Crucial um, type, the, the Crucial brand of RAM is that it offers more speed, more density, and it's known to extend battery life, and it has more bandwidth. So that's why I go with Crucial Memory. It's a little more expensive, but I feel it's worth it with the uh, um, the additional things you get with it. Um, the exact type of RAM that is necessary to upgrade this if you don't feel like going to the website and looking is um, crucial 32 gigabyte kit it's 26 of 16 gigabyte DDR4 dash 2133 SODIMM type RAM now uh, there's a, a cheaper version if you'd like it's the 16 gigabyte kit with two sticks of 8 gigabyte DDR4 213 RAM. Alright, without further ado, we're going to get into the project. Okay. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to flip your computer over to the back side. Computer or laptop. Yeah. And there's a panel down here at the bottom, as you can see. And there's one, two, three screws. Um, to speed up the video, I already took out the screws. But what it does, there's an indicator up here in the corner for you to help you get started. It's a little notch. It kind of tells you where to get started prying up. So you just want to use your thumb, start working it up. Be very careful not to break it. And then once you get it up, it pulls pretty much straight out. I'm just going to set that off to the side there. I think you can like put all those like numbers and stuff at the end too if you want to. Okay. That will make it much easier for the viewers. Now, you can see here, you have the two expansion spots right here. Um, the computer comes standard with 8 gigabytes, which is one stick. It's all on this one stick right here. And the way to remove the stick in these two metal brackets. There's a metal bracket here, a metal bracket here. Right there, buddy. So what I'm going to do is move that bracket off to the left. Move that off and see it just kind of pops up. And when it pops up, you can wiggle it straight out. Okay. So when you get your two sticks, it's the same principle on both sides. Where you're going to be putting it at an angle. Kind of push in just a little bit. But don't go crazy hard with it. You just want to make sure it's in firm. And then you want to press straight down. And those should snug up those clips. It should snug up on each side. Right there. And right there. And so for the other side. Which would be over here. It would go from the opposite angle. And put them down. I don't have an additional stick to show you, but it's very easy. Um, if you're super paranoid, if it's a, um, a moist day or damp day, or you're just paranoid, you can ground yourself with a um, anti-shock uh, grounding wristband that I have here. You would have to find a place on the chassis. I only really use this when I'm doing um, CPUs or really delving into it because this only takes a couple minutes and there's a very low 
chance of static buildup. Uh, but if you're super cautious, if you have a grounding station you can plug in, because this is nice, it actually has a removable clip, you can plug it right into a grounding station. And it has the alligator clip, you can... Oh. Got it? Okay. Um, it has an alligator clip that can go right back on it. Like that. And then you can find somewhere to ground off in the chassis. But for RAM, it only takes a second, and I try to touch metal before I even start messing with it. Uh, it's a very low probability of there being a shock or any damage to the board. But if you're one of those um, super careful users or just extra cautious, you can go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to do the reassembly now. There we go. We're going to start by... <clears throat> The way I found easiest to put this panel back on is to work the bottom in first. And like that. And then press straight down in up top. It'll kind of click all back into place. There you go. And then you've got three screws you got to put back in. There's one. And there you have it. That's how you replace the RAM or upgrade RAM on an Acer E15 laptop. Um, thanks again for my assistant, uh, Draven. You're welcome. And uh, I hope you like this video. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you do. And there will be more to come. Have a great night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.